Welcome to our channel. This session I am going to discuss about a full ladder structural using built-in gate primitive. So previously we discussed how to write the very low code for full ladder circuit. But this video I focused the full ladder circuit code is right using built-in gate primitives. So first I draw the logical diagram for full ladder circuits. So in this full ladder circuit we can use two XR gate. So this is the first XR gate and this one is the second XR gate. Second XR gate, we can take the output sum. Then three AND gates are used in the full ladder circuit and one OR gate. The output of the OR gate called as C out. So this is the structure of a full ladder circuit. Two XOR gates used and three AND gate, one OR gate. So what is built-in gate primitives? The module is consist of logical gate. So XOR1, X1 and X2, A1, A2, A3. So O1 represent for our operation. So this all the gates involved in the module. So this gate is namely called as the instantiation. The module is consist of instantiations. So these logical gates are connect with the net. So connect through the net. So this one namely called as S1. Then output of first AND gate is connected to input of XR gate and second output is connected to second input of OR gate third AND gate output is connected to third input of OR gate so this wire namely called as T1 T2 T3 then you assign the inputs A and B. So A and B, these two inputs are connected to first OR gate and third input C in is connected to input of second OR gate. So A, B, C in, these three input signal is connected to XR1 and XR2. Finally, you can get the result sum. The first AND gate input is A and B. Then second one A and C. Third and get B and C. So now you are assigning the inputs for XR1, XR2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and finally this 3 output of AND gate is connected to input of OR gate finally you can get the output C out so it's a simple logical diagram so in this logical diagram we can use multiple gate instantiations on net so now we go to write the program as usual first you write module then module name full ladder structure then you assign the input variables and output variables so in this structure input variables are a comma b comma c in then output variables sum comma c out so totally five variables used in the program a b c in sum and c out so among these five variables you assign the input variable so which are the variable is used for input which are the variable is used for output so input a comma b comma c so these three variables are assigned to input of the circuit then output sum comma c out so c out represent for 
carry out signal. Then now initialize the wire signal. So in this structure, we can use the four wire signal S1, T1, T2, and T3. You just write here S1, T1, T2, T3. So after that, the previous module, we can use some always parts command or some processing signals are giving. But in this built-in gate primitive method, directly you write the gate names. So in this structure, we can use two XOR gate and three AND gate and one OR gate. So first I write XOR operation. So in this XOR operation involved in twice X1 and X2. So first I take it as X1. So X1, output of the S1, X1 is S1, input A and B. So A comma B. Just you put one comma. So first you take X1 gate. So in this X1 gate, XR gate, output is S1 and the inputs of A and B. You just write here. Then you take second XR gate, X2. The output of the X2 value is sum. You just mention output first. Then input value S1 and C in. S1, C in. Then put one semicolon. So XR function is over. Then we go for AND operation. So in this AND operation, we have a three gates. First we will represent A1. So this A1 is a primitive value. So A1, A2, A3 and X1, X2, O1. So that's called as a gate primitives. So A1, output of the A1 is T1. Inputs of A and B. A comma B. Just put one comma. Then we take the second AND gate. So second AND gate output is T2. And input of the second AND gate A and C in. A comma C in. Then third AND gate represent A3. Output of the third AND gate is T3 comma inputs of B and C in. So B comma C in. So close the AND operation. Then you take the third operation or operation. You represent OR gate. So O1. Output of the O1 is cow C out. Carry out. Inputs of T1, T2, T3. T1, T2, T3. Then finally, close the module, N module. So this is the one more method to write the program for full data structure. So here we are using built-in gate primitive methods. So in this gate primitive method in the sense, the module consists of gate instantiations. So XOR gate, AND gate and OR gate. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are not uh, subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.